I'm going to show you how to set things three up from scratch and hopefully keep it to about 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes. Now, who am I? My name is Peter Uckies. I have created a video course on Things 3. That's how much I love this app. It's a beautiful app. It's amazing. I totally love it. And I created a video course to teach you how to organize your life with Things 3. So after you watch this video, definitely check out my video course. There's some free previews from the course and the link to that is in the description below. You may have actually seen me on some other YouTube channels as well, such as on Francesco's Keep Productive channel, or perhaps you've seen some of my writing over at a website like The Sweet Setup. Or maybe you're new here and that's cool too, welcome. So let's dive right in, set up things three and make sure that you can work more productively and be more organized. Now, step one, what is step one? Whenever you're working with a task manager, the key thing, the absolute most important thing is that all of the things you need to do, want to do, should do are in your task manager. It's the most important thing. If you don't have that, your task manager is not very useful to you. So let's go ahead and write down some of those things that we need to do, we want to do. And I'll use examples from my own life. One of the things I'd like to do is I'd like to buy a new pair of climbing shoes because I love to go climbing, more specifically bouldering. I need a new pair of shoes. So I gotta put that in there. I also noticed that my plants could use a little water plants that I got at home. So I'll uh, add a task, water the plants. And I'm just using command N here, by the way, to add new tasks. What else do I want to do? I want to iron my dress shirts, something that I've been putting off for a while. Also earlier today, I was in my wardrobe and I was looking for some gloves and I found them, but in the process of finding them, everything got jumbled. So I'd just like to organize my wardrobe again. So write that down. I also noticed that some people left some uh, comments on my YouTube videos. You should too, by the way. Uh, and, and I like to respond to every comment. So I'll say respond to the latest comments on my YouTube videos. Now I noticed that my, my channel could also use a new intro video. So I'll also say um, create a new intro video for my YouTube channel. So your list will look different than mine and it may be a lot longer, but that's okay. Anything that you think that you should do that you want to do fun things too. Doesn't just have to be boring work things, right? Fun things too. Um, things that your Aunt Mildred has been asking you to do, things that your neighbor has been asking you to do. I don't know, anything that you can think of that you want to do, need to do, should do. Uh, right now, don't filter yourself. Just dump it all out of your brain and get it in there, get it into the inbox. Done? Okay, you can pause the video. It's cool, it's cool. You can pause the video and do it. And if you're done, Let's move on. Step number two is figuring out, are there any things that are urgent? You know, do some of these tasks have a deadline? Now, a lot of people misuse deadlines. I see this all the time. People say, oh, you know what? Like, I'd really like to iron my dress shirts today. So what they go and do is they assign a deadline of today to that. What happens? Life happens, you don't end up ironing your dress shirts today, and you actually miss the deadline. Now you feel bad you missed the deadline, and things will let you know that you missed the deadline. But also, you're training yourself. Like, like, that's not an important deadline, you know? Like, unless you've got like some, maybe like there's like a wedding or something and you need to look nice tomorrow, right? But probably the world won't end if you don't do that today. So only assign deadlines when there are serious consequences. Like if you gotta pay a bill, right? Let's say we have a task, um, pay the water bill. And you know, let's say you're gonna get a big fine if you don't do that um, by tomorrow, which is in, in my case, Friday, November 1st, then set a deadline for that task, yeah, for, for tomorrow. Same thing is my new pair of climbing shoes. Um, let's say I'm actually going on a climbing trip next week and I'm leaving on November 8th. So actually November 7th, I would like to buy these new shoes by, otherwise I won't have shoes on my trip. Like that's the level of seriousness that you want to, to that's the threshold of seriousness, right? That you gotta pass before you assign a deadline to tasks. So just keep that in mind. After you've dumped all of your tasks in the inbox, go through them and assign deadlines for, for things that if you don't do them by a certain time, by a very definite time, there'll be serious consequences. Something like watering the plants. Ideally, I'd like to do that today, but if I don't get to it, I mean, my plants are not gonna die. It's fine, okay? So that's that's the kind of thing we're thinking of. So after you add all your tasks to the inbox and whoops, and you add deadlines to the tasks that need it, okay? Then what you're gonna do is just create two areas. Things is these things called areas, which allow you to group your projects and to-dos. So one of them, call it home. And another one, call it work. For most people, this is a fantastic place to start. You can tinker with this over time as you learn more, but home and work is a good place to start for most people. For me, work tasks include creating a new intro video for my YouTube channel. So I will just go drag that up into work. 
and also respond to the latest comments on my YouTube videos. That's work. All of these other things are home tasks for me. So I'll just use shift to select them all, put them under home. Thank you things. Now, if I click on home, I'll see the home tasks. And if I click on work, I'll see the work tasks. It all makes a lot of sense, right? So go through every task in your inbox and ask is this a home thing or a work thing? Or if you immediately think of a third area that really makes sense for you to have, then create that. But don't go overboard. Don't have more than three right now. You know, we're doing this fast, um, making sure you have a starting point. You can really improve on this over time. So after you do this, the fourth thing that we're going to do is we're actually going to see, should any of these tasks be projects? Now, a project is something, yeah, a task that contains two or more subtasks that you won't necessarily all do at the same time. Let me tell you what's not a project, watering the plants. I'm going to water all my plants at the same time. I'm not going to water half and then water the other half. It's just not going to happen. So that's not a project. But when I'm buying climbing shoes, that's something that has some sub steps. So for example, I'm vegan. I don't like to buy stuff that has leather in it. So climbing shoes often have leather. There are climbing shoes that are not, that don't have leather, that are vegan, but I need to identify which ones. So when I'm buying a pair of climbing shoes, that may be my first step is like get a list of vegan climbing shoes. Then I might want to find out which stores nearby stock some of those shoes, right? And then I might want to actually go to one of those stores and try on a pair before buying them. But I may not do all of those things at once. I might find a list now and find a store now, but then maybe tomorrow I'll actually go to the store. So these tasks contribute to the one outcome, like buying a new pair of climbing shoes, but I won't necessarily all do them at the same time. That's why it's a project. So I'll right click this task and actually click convert to project. Now what happens if you click on the home area, you'll see that there's a project right here, buy a new pair of climbing shoes. And it's listed here as well. And so in this project, we can, we can add tasks. Um, in this case, it's find a list of vegan climbing shoes, identify the closest store that stocks a couple of them, and go to the store to try them on. That may be the list of subtasks for this particular project. So after you've moved all of your tasks from the inbox to the area, either home or work, right? Go through them and ask yourself, which of these should really be projects? Which of these should be projects? So under work, um, respond to the latest comment on my YouTube videos. It's not really a project. May okay, maybe I won't respond to all of them at once, but it's not really something that, you know, needs to happen in a certain order with subtasks. But creating a new intro video for my YouTube channel, that's a project. So again, I'll right click, click convert to project. And what might this, it might include writing a script. So write a script, shoot the video, uh, edit the video, upload the video, and then publish the video after I'm done setting all the settings. Now, in reality, I use a, a, a longer version of this, <laughs> uh, more step steps and sub steps um, when I put out a new YouTube video, but you know, you get the idea. So think in projects, think in terms of outcomes. So you've set up your tasks into areas, you've assigned deadlines, and you've created projects. The next step is to figure out when are you going to do what, right? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go to the upcoming view. Now the upcoming view is a lovely view and you'll see that it has a list of dates tomorrow, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. And if there is a task, so for example, pay the water bill is due tomorrow, that task will show up on that day. So it's very helpful if it has a deadline of that day, it will show up there. Um, and we said that buying a new pair of climbing shoes needs to happen by November 7th. So that's where the project shows. Now the upcoming view can also show events from your calendars. This is super handy if you're figuring out, you know, what am I going to be able to work on on Thursday? Well, first of all, you'll see, oh shit, this is due Thursday, uh, Thursday. Like I better work on that, right? This has a deadline of Thursday. I better work on that. But it also helps to know what are your events on Thursday? Maybe you've got an all day event and you won't be able to work on it. So actually you should start working on that on Wednesday. So because of that, things can integrate with the calendar on your Mac or your iPad or your iPhone and show your calendar events. So let's do that. Let's click show events. And my calendar events are now populated. So I can actually see that uh, next Thursday, I'm planning to go bouldering in my local gym. So it's probably not a great day to buy the shoes unless I want to buy them at the gym. So maybe I should do that the day before, right? And actually, if you go to things and, um, and the preferences and you go to calendar events, you can choose which calendars you want to show here and which ones you don't. So just go ahead and, and change that. Now. I could do this on Thursday. It's, it's, it has a deadline of Thursday, right? 
but it makes sense to do it a little bit earlier probably so that I can, uh, you know, I'm not waiting until the last day to do that project. So things has two types of dates and the other type of date is the one that's really helpful for this case. So we have the deadlines that you assign to a task or a project. If like you need to have this done by a certain date, you assign that. But you don't want to use deadlines for intent. If you say, you know what, I'd like to work on this today or I'd like to work on this tomorrow, okay? Then you use a different type of date. And so if I click on this project, we're going to use the when date. So if you click here, you can click on when. And then you can choose a date and that's essentially saying, I plan to work on it on this day. So let's say we plan to do that this Saturday. Just click Saturday, go back to upcoming. And now this project shows under Saturday, showing and denoting that that is your intent to do it then. So this is really handy. And we can do this to an individual task as well. If we just go to home, uh, let's say organize my wardrobe. Let's say I want to do that um, tomorrow. I can actually, I, I hit command S by the way, command S pops up this when view. I can just start typing tomorrow, hit enter, boom. If I go to upcoming, I'll see that this task is listed under tomorrow alongside the task that actually is the deadline of tomorrow. So that's the, the two types of um, dates that there are in things. So the final thing I want to um, teach you in this video is how to make a plan for today. Like what should you work on today? Now, when you're planning what to work on today, I always like to think of it this way. Pick two or three really important tasks that will move the needle for you. I don't know what needles need moving in your life, but pick two or three tasks that move those needles. So in my case, I like to grow my YouTube channel. So writing a script, at least for my new intro video, is something that's gonna move the needle for me. So I'm gonna choose that task. Yeah, and I'm gonna hit Command S and type today. That's one of my two big tasks for today. Um, what else is a big task? Um, ba, ba, ba. You know what, let's say, let's say I'd like to actually probably start um, working on this, getting my climbing shoes. That's, that's, that's important to me. So I'd like to start doing that today as well. I'll assign that to today. And so those are my two big things for today. And if you go to the today view, they'll show up here with the, with the star. Now, after I do those, I always like to fill in a couple of smaller tasks as well. Um, once I, you know, once I get my big tasks out of the way for the day, I can do the little ones. And that's what I recommend for you. Two or three big ones, plus some smaller ones that don't move any important needles, but you know, the, the life maintenance things. And how can you choose some of those? You can go to the anytime view and anytime is, lets you basically see all the tasks and projects that don't have, um, that you've not assigned to a certain date already, that you've not planned for a certain date. So you could work on them anytime. So um, paying the water bill, you know what, that would be a good thing to do today. It's technically due tomorrow, but it's a little thing. Let's do it today. Watering the plants, let's do that today as well. And responding to the latest comments, I think I can handle that today too. So if I go up to today, what I like to do is I like to drag it in order of importance. So write a script that's gonna move the, the most important needle for me. So I'd like to work on that first, just drag it up and then find the list of the climbing shoes and then the little things. This is how I recommend you do it as well. You can every morning, right? You can sit down and look at your today view. Things that are due today will automatically show up here. And then whether you, you may have some of those, you may not, um, look at upcoming. See what's coming up in the next few days. Just inform yourself. What are your calendar events? Which deadlines are coming up, right? Then go to any time, pick two or three big tasks and assign those to today. Those are your moving the needle tasks and then fill in with some other smaller tasks as well. That's how you can get started with things three really quickly. Um, remember it all hinges on getting all of your tasks into things. Now, of course, there's a lot more to it, but this is a great place to start. And if you want to learn how to use things, you know, how to get the most out of things three, then you've got to check out my course. It's called Organize Your Life with Things Three. It's a video course. I go through this step-by-step in much more detail and you'll learn a lot more. For example, you'll learn about using project templates. You'll learn about how repeating tasks and projects work in things. You'll learn how to plan your week in more detail. Um, lots of things. You'll learn how to write a good task name. It's really the best thing you can do if you want to get the most out of this app that you've invested in and if you want to be more organized and more productive. So check out my course. You can get a free preview. It's over at learn.peterakis.net. But of course, I'll also put the link in the description below the video. Now that said, if you enjoyed this video, I would also love it if you could give it a like, um, comment, let me know what you thought. And if you want to see more of my videos, get notified, subscribe to the channel. But don't forget to check out the course.